So I have the simple WooCommerce website and the goal of this video is we will create a custom search form and this homepage for the general um, search products and then we will also create another forms for a product category so I have two category specifically for the cat products and the other one is for the dogs products so okay so we will be using plugin it doesn't require any technical skills just follow along this tutorial and if you encounter any issue like sometimes there is a conflict with the theme itself just comment down below i'll try my best to answer it and if you also want to create you want me to create a custom tutorial that doesn't requires a um um, a child theme please let me know so i can come up with a tutorial for that but it will take a little bit um longer like the video will take a little bit longer because we need to create a content search form and configure or override the default um search that php thing in wordpress but anyway again this tutorial will only require plugin so go into your plugin settings go to the add new section and then we will install this plugin called ivory search okay Okay, so this is the plugin. So far, it has 80,000 downloads, which is super good. And they always update the plugin as well. And that is like the, the checklist that you need to take a look if you are installing a specific plugin. So I'm going to install this plugin now. And then we will activate it and then go into the ivory section you can skip this part and then um, go back to the ivory and search forms okay so i'll start creating a form for the general products so add new search field general search um you can really use whatever you prefer and then here i don't want that to be um i only want them to see all of my products so woocommerce search all products we're good in that and it will generate a theme in here and then we can use a um any type of modules really you, whether you use an elementor or a dv1 it doesn't matter as long as the module or the yeah as long as the modules support html so i use dv by the way if you want to use this theme you can always use my link below to get a, a special discount so we will then um create a, a code modules in here oops I'll just check and check that part so code module so i'll add it a code module paste the short code save it and you can see there's already a code module there and yeah um you just basically need to add the short code and then and then update so we already have the search products that they can use so let's say i want to search this one so it has this um search field and you can also change that if you don't like how this design will look um and i think this is available on the search um field or you can also like let's say you don't want this um breadcrumbs to be visible you can inspect the elements and then type in display none so I can copy this code. Okay, so we can go into the, if you want to change that, you can go into the settings and go to the custom CSS and then add the CSS code there. And if you refresh that, so the breadcrumbs is already gone. Now let's jump into the product category. So it's still the same, go to the ivory settings and then i can just click the add new search field let's say this is a cat category and then still the same for the search products here i can disable some of the stuff in here so i don't want to make the pages searchable media and the post i want the product to be searchable but with a specific category so 
um, this one, I think that one. Um, okay, so I just want to search product related to a cat category. So saved. And then I can just copy this and then go into because I created a custom template in here. I use DV by, by the way. Um, DV Builder. I'm going to the category for the cat. And then really it's also the reason why I like to use DV because it's super easy to navigate and come up with a template without you know you really don't need to be good with with code and stuff so you can put that search field there and if i save that again if you want to try to use dv feel free to um um use my link below to get a discount so this is a cat product and this is a, this search field should supposed to only um filter the product category or the cat category so type if i type in whiskas so these are like only the products available for the whiskas thing and if you can see here they are just all um cat products and um if we type and i do have other thing as well on on this website um i just filter all the um, post that is under the podcast category so I have this search field in here so if I type in let's say um, Stacy and I search that only podcasts that sh she is featured in is searchable in this search result so I set something in here on the what do you call that on the ivory settings so yeah ivory search forms i created this podcast thing here so before it was a mistake that we used the pod we put the podcast in the post section instead of put creating a, a custom post type but it's already there it's the the posts are already indexed so we just um just you know um continue doing it and come up with an alternative to um, to filter only the products, only the categories related to podcasts. So I said something in here that the search field, the only this search field can only filter posts, and then the posts should be only related to the podcast category. So yeah, that's how it works. And again, if you have any question, don't forget to message me or comment down below.